Christ. In the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to God for all things. It seems in God's, in God's mercy that uh, we have another example today of faith and love, especially as we draw, near to the, draw nigh to the chalice. We hear the words with faith and love. But this, today, with, the, with faith and, as we talk about faith and love, in the example of both the Holy Apostle Peter, as he stepped out of the ship to approach our Lord, and also the Holy Glorious Prophet Elijah, there's something that we should pay especially close attention to, especially in this day and age. With the Holy Glorious Prophet Elijah, when he was in the cave, the Lord was not in all of the great and wondrous things that happened around him, but in the very quiet, in the gentle breeze. Of course, we know that our Lord can do all things, but this is where he wanted to make his presence known, was in the gentle breeze, in the quiet, in the stillness and the peace. And so, turning to Holy Apostle Peter, and when he was asked to come and approach our Lord, our Lord was that, which should come no surprise, that our Lord, again, is that quiet, that calmness, that stillness, that the Holy Apostle Peter was drawing, wished to draw near to because of his faith and love. And for a moment, for a few moments, the Holy Apostle was able to approach our Lord, not distracted by the wind and the waves. But as soon as he focused his attention, as soon as his attention was drawn to those things around him, to the turbulence, he lost his focus. And that peace that he had disappeared. So this is a lesson for us as well. For drawing, if we wish to draw closer to our Lord. How often are we distracted by the things of this world? By the constant flow of information? Oftentimes we choose to spend our times learning something new, doing something new. But are we spending time taking care, as we heard today, the temple of God that's with, that, is, that is within us? Taking care, finding that peace within us. As we hear elsewhere, the kingdom of God is within you. And if we wish to tend to that, if we wish to develop that, Part of that is developing that peace, that inner peace, and not being distracted by the cares of this world. By turning to, by spending time in meditation, by spending time in quiet prayer. And so, brothers and sisters, I ask you to consider these things, that as we go through our lives, as things become even busier, and there is more noise around us because of different innovations, and just, you know, just the temptations of the evil one that's trying to draw us away from prayer, trying to draw us away from peace. Let us find some time to separate ourselves from the cares of this world and put it towards finding, you know, finding that calmness, you know, having that, you know, seeking out that stillness, seeking out quiet, that we can achieve through, that will help us with prayer, that will help us with you know, hearing our Lord, feeling his presence, knowing that he's there, as did the Holy Prophet Elijah. Amen. <laughs>